Hi there. So I've got this floating button on my page and when someone clicks on it, they can chat with you. When a visitor clicks on start chat here, it redirects them to external platforms like WhatsApp or Messenger instead of letting them chat directly on the site. And I'll be completely honest here, this is a big issue if you're looking to keep visitors engaged directly on your page. So if you're looking for a solution that keeps the conversation right on your website, check out this video. I'll guide you through the process of integrating an AI chatbot that stays right on your site, making it easier for visitors to interact with you without leaving the page. This way, all your communications stay in one place potentially increasing engagement and conversions. But if you're okay with your visitors being directed to other platforms to continue the conversation, the floating button is perfect. If you wanted the same functions before, you'd need to install plugins or even code. But now you can set it up directly on Elementor for Facebook, Messenger, email, WhatsApp, or even phone calls through Skype. Each of these options allow your visitor to connect with you through different channels. I know it's been a few months since it was announced, but I never got to try it as it was only available in the dev version. Now it's available on stable version of Elementor and using it on your site is super easy. So let's get started. I'll focus on one of the most popular choices, setting up the floating button for WhatsApp. This setup is quite simple and I'll walk you through the steps, showing you how to create a customized button, link it to your WhatsApp account and make sure it's working perfectly. You can also follow the same steps if you have a WhatsApp business account. But before we start, if you can't see the floating buttons on your Elementor templates page, then make sure to enable the floating buttons option in the Elementor's feature tab. I've already got that set up, so let's go to templates. Click add new template, select the type as a floating element and hit create template. From there, you'll see tons of floating buttons templates like ones for WhatsApp, messenger or phone calls. As we want a WhatsApp floating button, we'll go with that and insert it into the page. Now let's make it match our website style. But before that, whenever I'm doing some design work for clients, I make sure to install this free plugin Airlift because, okay, let me actually show you this. So that's my site speed before and that's after. It does a lot of optimizations automatically and keeps stuff fast. So you should definitely try this and I'll leave the link in the description below. Here we have different platforms to choose from, whether it's Messenger, email or Skype. And in this case, we will go with WhatsApp. You can also add or remove the notification dot for that alert indicator. Just click here and done. Next in the top bar, change the name and title to something that fits your brand. I'll swap out the profile image for this. If you want to show the status as active, enable it. If not, leave it off. Now let's customize the welcome message that shows up when someone clicks on the button. I'll just click here and change it to something like this. Okay, let's also adjust the time format and decide whether you want to enable the typing option or not. And don't forget to change the text on the send button. You can customize it to say things like start chat or continue conversation. I'll just keep it simple and change it to start chat. Now we can change the colors and fonts. You can select the chat button size and pick a color that matches your site like this. Let's also choose a background color. Okay, go through each part like text, style and color so everything looks cohesive with your website's design. Next, let's change the text bubbles background and text color. I'll just make a few changes quickly. And once done, the button should look like this. Once you're done styling, head over to the advanced tab. Here, you can adjust the position of the floating button whether horizontally, vertically, or with offsets and place it anywhere on the page like this. Finally, don't forget to add your contact number or account details for Facebook Messenger, Skype, or email. This way, when users click on start chat, they'll be directed straight to WhatsApp or other platforms. When you're done with all your customizations, let's take a look at how it turned out. The floating button is now visible on our site 
and when I click on it, the chat opens like this. You can place it wherever you like and when you click here, it redirects user to WhatsApp. And I know most people won't have WhatsApp logged in on their computers. I don't have it either. But this feature also works perfectly on mobile devices. Let's try it out. So I've got my site open on my phone and when someone clicks on the floating button, they'll be redirected to their WhatsApp app, making it effortless for them to connect with you. Comment below if you have any questions and I'll help you out. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.